Oh, hello, fellow weavers. Welcome back to episode three of Symphonic Rain. Last time, guys, we kind of learned about the whole musical, and we also found a die suck. So we're gonna continue on. So we're back here yet again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm no good. Okay. That. That I know. Thank you. Don't you? Are you kind of? Yeah. Yeah, well. Tortinia. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a, oh, that's a nice name. Tortinia. Oh. Beautiful name. Tortinia is a good name. Well, yeah. She's graduation. I'll keep that in mind while I think about it. Okay, then I'll step in and if it comes to it. Dang. You'll step in? Oh, that's a voice student. A voice student? So are they just people that like just like sing? They don't like, you know, have instruments? That's... Oh. oh, is it? Oh, that's so mean. I'm sorry. I'm no good at puzzle. I'm no good at like rhythm games. And of course, I'm hard to press on the keyboard. It's very hard. Don't judge me. Feeling a little agitated by her words, I replied, oh, That's not true, bitch. That's not true. It's the guy controlling me. You know? It's not my fault the guy is shit with him games. I'll believe you, Quiz. So I... You better teach. Dot. I think she just conned me into deciding on a partner. I mean... Damn. Ooh, I have to say, she is very pretty. I like the suit she has on her. You know? I was at loss of words that she looked at me. This bitch. Like, mm, mm, looking down at me. Anyway, okay, you talk. No, please, please, no. I'm, oh, don't, oh my god. Stop. Stop. Even after Bisco left, I remained in the classroom to calm, calm down after the excitement of playing. Don't, 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 please. Then I remembered. The repeat advice and thought about the future. It's not like I wasn't looking for a partner. I just wasn't very interested in it. Well, okay, there you go. I knew I didn't have that much time to spare, so I just couldn't work seriously at, at it. <laughs> Pivotive Communical Music School of Music. The Communical School of Music was named after the city. It boasted world-renowned faculties and many famous musicians called it their alma mater. With that tradition behind it, both entering and graduating were said to be difficult. Being one of the few ca capable for tell students, it was easy, easy for me to get in. And that is probably why I've had such a hard time of it. And of course, I wasn't given any, an appropriate task in order to graduate from the school. A graduation performance held in the school's concert hall. The graduation performance is judged by alimony and by, uh, by active musicians gathered from around the country. So it's basically loads of you looking at me watching me, you know, sing and, da sing and dance. So some students stayed on at the school after fall failing the performance, but more... <laughs> wow, shit. On the other hand, there were those who did so well that they were instantly guaranteed success as a professional musician. <laughs> that's not going to be me. I'm going to be the one that's going to fail miserably. The standards, for graduation, the standards for graduation here have always been high. Regardless, Miss Cullen said that I had a good chance of graduating. Uh, like, we, I don't, so wait, the standard of graduation is like... So wait, am I not allowed to graduate? If I fail graduation, do I'm like, oh, we have to stay here for another years? <laughs> I'm 50 years old, still in school. I had it drummed into me that it was all about graduating. Oh, 
There were two rules for photo performance, and no matter how skilled you were, you couldn't pass if you didn't fulfill those terms. First, the song performed had to be an original, so I had to make my own song up. I already had one, so there was no problem there. The next was the problem. The song had to be performed with a vocalist. So basically, someone has to sing it. You know, while I do the flute. Normally a third year voice student would be chosen as a partner, as voc as a vocalist also need to perform to graduate. Like, yeah, she would need it as well, yeah. But the rules say that the partner didn't need to be a voice student. So it didn't need it didn't need to be someone who could sing. That meant that it could be anyone, even someone outside of the school. That being said, pairing with someone not used to singing in front of an audience was like asking to fail, so I'd never heard of anyone pairing with anyone other than a student of the school, yeah. Well, it wasn't like I didn't have someone in mind, but there were things that made me hesitate to pair with her. Yeah. The reason, I didn't even really know myself. I'd appreciate her voice, and I'd known her since we were kids. We were still, we were still close. So why, I asked myself, but I never came up with an answer. Ding dong. <gasps> the bell. School's out. The time makes the signal noon brought me to my senses. I hadn't made plans with her, but I went to the cafeteria to meet my childhood friend. She was a part partner candidate after all. Unlike how it was in the morning, a few students were out in the hallway chatting. I slid past them and went outside. Yo, ee, ee, ee. In the building I had just left the first hall, there were classrooms, lecture rooms and offices for the professors and staff. And in the second hall, I was heading to there, heading, there were many individual practice rooms, even smaller in the classroom. It also contains a cafeteria and library. Factories not directly related to classes. Okay. It's a big, big room. I passed a concert hall that stood between those two buildings and hurried under, under a suit to avoid the rain. Oh. You would have something for the rain if it rains all the time. Being lunchtime, there were two well, many students already gathered in the cafeteria. It was big enough to care cater for one hundred people at one time, and it was half full. But I put my bag down on a seat near a window I liked. After ordering some with with soto, I took it and sat down in the chair. What does with soto mean? What does with soto? Oh hiya! Oh hiya! Who's that? As I was stirring the content of the bowl, with a spoon, I heard a familiar voice from behind. Ah! Oh, hi! Aw! It's my childhood friend, Tortas! Oh my god, she isn't dead! She isn't dead! I Because the way they were describing the first, the first minute, I thought she was dead. She's not dead! <laughs> Yay! We might go over space. Aw. Huh? Aw. Hmm? This. Oh. It must have fallen out of when she moved my bag. Twitter was waving the sheet music that I had been using in front of me. What are you doing with that sheet music? Uh, for now. For now. Aww, you're telling me to stop, right? I'm working on it. Aww. Tori laughed feebly, giving the subject up as a joke. I don't know what feebly means. Sure, go ahead. I'll be eating. As I went through the motions of putting the slightly cold risotto in my mouth, I watched her from the corner of my eye. It looked like she was reading the music intently, checking the notes. Hmm. Just as she finished reading the last page, I finished my lunch. Just go it! That's it! Thanks. Oh. Do you think I was doing nothing? Uh, no, I haven't yet. <laughs> Miss Cor Cordell just gave me the same, same talk. I don't need you to give me one. Oh well. She's right. Oh, fuck a bitch. But why the both of you all of a sudden? Why, but why the boat of you are all over? Oh. February, yeah, still February, damn. Wouldn't you say two whole months? Bitch. 
Go ahead. As I said, there's two open her lunchbox on a table. So, oh, that may be the case. Versus, so you don't. <laughs> oh, oh, I sneeze. Sorry, guys. I mean, no, it's not that I don't have any ideas. Her cheeks stuffed with sandwiches. Tori will probably be slightly surprised. Look on her face. <laughs> just, just imagine she's a squirrel. Did you notice? Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> Don't talk with your mouth full. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I just, I just assumed like this. Is a, I don't know if this is a romance. I just assumed every visual novel is a romance, but it might not be. Same with the one. With the other, that one anime, like, no, I, I, like, I mean, I have to say, this guy seems very chilled, you know, you seem really surprised. Do I know this person? Oh, no. It was just someone's voice, I assume, that Miss Homer said she could ask. In the end, I was, I was leaving it to my teacher, not doing anything myself. I got ready to be taken to task, and as I searched for the words to explain to her, I laughed. Ha, <laughs> what? Kind of. What? Oh my god. Explain carefully. Don't deny it. Uh, what we should do. I, this, is our first, this is our first, uh, like, task. Ah, you know, I say we won't deny it. We won't deny that we're like, you know. Well, it's not like I'm doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, of course it's a girl. <laughs> what am I, gay? <laughs> I just tossed out a reply and Tori said something I didn't really understand. <laughs> You're going with a woman? Huh? What do you mean, is it a girl? <laughs> yeah, like I said! <laughs> like I said, what, you think I'm gay? <laughs> of course it's a girl! <laughs> Damn. What rumors? I don't know. We'll find out next time, guys. So I will leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.